Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to lock applications individually with a passcode, sort of a secondary layer of security for your iOS device. If you have an iPad laying at home where you share your main passcode with everyone, but you still want to protect content, this is going to be very useful because you can block applications individually with passcodes. Same thing applies for iPhone in case you ever leave your iPhone unlocked somewhere. People won't be able to access certain applications because you'll have that second layer of protection. Now, the way I'm going to be showing you how to do this is going to be using screen time. Now, screen time, the main purpose of this, first off, is a parental control tool for children if you want to go ahead and have some parental control over their digital activities and, of course, for your digital health as well so you can monitor how long you've been using applications and try to stay away from your device as long as you can using this tool because it gives you all the information. Now, the secondary aspect that I saw with this new option for iOS 12 is a second security layer for app protection. Now, let me show you why I'm saying that. Now, first off, you want to go ahead and set a passcode. So right down here, you want to say use screen passcode. Let's go ahead and set that to a zeros just for the purpose of the video here. And let me go ahead and show you here how you can set the applications to be protected. So the first thing you want to do is go into app limits. This is where you can set limits on applications on how long you'll be able to use those applications. Okay, so we'll click add and you have all your categories. You can choose social networks or entertainment apps. I'm going to choose all for the purpose of the video here and then set a timer for those applications to lock themselves with the passcode. So I'm going to set it to one minute again just for the purpose of the video. Go back and let's say I'm in photos here. You'll see that photos will lock itself momentarily here within a minute after the prompt here and then I won't be able to access photos. Again, if you have an iPad laying around at home where everybody knows the passcode, you can have a secondary passcode and now when you click ignore, it'll give you the option for 15 more minutes or ignore for the entire day. So with the 15 more minutes, you enter the passcode, it locks itself again, no one can get access to it unless of course they know the passcode or you can go ahead and remove the limit for the entire day if you wish to do so. But what if you wanna do individual apps? So let's go back here and remove this limitation here and show you how you can do individual apps. The first thing you wanna do is go to the top here where the name of the phone is and you can find the apps where you have the most activity for right here. Let's say I wanna lock photos only or messages only. So I tap this right here, set it for a minute or however long you want. You can set this time for however long you want, five, 10, 15 minutes and the app will automatically lock itself again. So go ahead and set that and now the messages application is locked in order to get access to it I have to enter the passcode and it'll lock itself again the same rules apply here as well so I thought it was a pretty cool way to have access to certain applications or actually protect yourself individually on certain applications now in order to remove these limitations just go to app limit and then enter the passcode and then you can remove the limitations by tapping into the app and deleting them just like that so i thought it was a really cool tip to share with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed it thank you for watching and i'll see you on the next one peace